Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, we'll be going over how to install RustScan in Kali Linux. Fairly newly uh, tool for myself as well as I've used it very minimally. Um, that includes my time for the PNPT, OSCP, and also the CPTS. I have rarely used this. I think I only use this tool in about two boxes in Hack the Box uh, training uh, for OSCP. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, so like I said, it's going to be a first time for me technically as well. Um, and I'm also going to start incorporating this into my process and methodology uh, for not just pen testing, red team, but the whole nine. So that being said, let's get into this video. So, like I said, we'll be installing RustScan today on our Kali Linux box. This is the Linux box or Kali box that we set up with Proton, Pimp My Kali. Um, so, let's get into the first command. Uh, I've got my notes here. So, pretty much, you're always going to want to run an update, at least for me, in my opinion. I always want to update when I install something new, any changes, whatever. Um, always run down the updates. I'll list those commands in the in the description down below and I'll also have the commands for running um, how we do this process uh, in the description in the video as well so first one we are going to run cargo install oh no sorry that's a that's the second one my bad uh, first one is going to be sudo apt install cargo continue yes now this one's pretty quick. This one might take a little bit longer, not that long, but might be a little lengthy. Um, depending on how you have your system or your VM set up, but normally it's pretty, it's still pretty quick. It's not like some of the other tools that you install uh, take the time to run and finish. So the second one is gonna be cargo install rust scan. Now, once we get once we have this installed, um, I like to I like to make it to where I could run it anywhere. Um, I'll also have those commands uh, for you guys in the description. So that being said, once this finishes up, I will uh, show you and go through that process again. I like to do it this way. Most people, some people don't, some people do. Um, that, but again. Either or, whatever your cup of tea is, um, that's fine. So that being said about RustScan, pretty much I haven't really used this tool. Uh, I've used just the standard, especially for my OSCP standard Nmap, and then also Auto Recon. I was a big fan of Auto Recon. I pretty much like how it broke everything down um, as far as your different scans, um, and then it hit port by port. Um, and then also like, you know, when you did the web uh, port 80, port 8080, et cetera, anything that had uh, web HTTP, it really got, it really broke it down into those folders with, you know, um, what web, um, Ferox Buster, et cetera. Like it literally had everything. So I was a fan of Auto Recon. I've only used RustScan. Uh, this was probably earlier in the year, maybe even December, January timeframe. I only used it twice when I um, was studying for my OSCP. Um, so I'm not here to knock it or to be a fan. However, I've heard nothing but good things, especially how quick it is. And um, I was watching some of some other videos and saying that how it's you could integrate this with other scans as well. Um, not sure how true that is, but I'm going to look into that as well. And like I said into the beginning of the video, I'm also going to start incorporating this into my methodology going forward. Um, as you can see, this is the YouTube uh, Kali box that I'm using for YouTube. Um, so any tools that I install, run, or any kind of training that I'm going to put out is going to be this, and it's always going to be up to date. Um, anything I add onto this box or VM will be on YouTube. I'm not doing anything like behind the scenes, etc. cetera. Um, I want it to be there, so that way if I do F up, whatever um it's all natural it's all authentic um that way it's a full life experience anything that i ran into um you guys might face as well um some people face different issues the way they have different setups on their vms or machines so it's always good to get those different um perspectives and uh different scenarios where 
um, it makes the brain click to troubleshoot because sometimes you won't have these tools and you might have to do it a different way or a manual way um, to get it up and running. So it's always good to learn that way. And like I said, always being authentic. Um, so now pretty much what we're gonna do here is, this is the tricky part because when I first installed it earlier in January, it was not like this and I did not use cargo. Um, it was pretty much just a Git clone. So this is new for me as well. Um, let's see if this works. Um, um, nope, that did not work. See, here we go. Okay, there it is. Help. Oh, it's TAC TAC version. Oh, TAC capital V. So here we go. We're on Rust scan version 2.3.0. Now, here's what I'm gonna do, echo shell to see what uh, what we have or what you have. I have ZSH. So now I'm going to export my path because I don't want home Cali dot cargo dot or slash bin rest scan to run it. I wanna be able to run it everywhere. So that being said, let's go ahead and do that. And now, uh, source. Oops. Now we should be able to run it. There you go. Now I don't have to have all that um, slash home slash calorie slash dot cargo slash bin rest can to run it. I can just run this uh, pretty much anywhere. Uh, pretty simple to install. Um, let's just double check the version real quick. Just so there's no funny stuff. And we're on Rustcan 2.30, uh, 2.3.0. So that being said, this pretty much, um, like I said, I'm gonna be doing this and adding this tool into my methodology going forward. Um, I've heard nothing but good things. I've only used it really minimal. Um, and again, I. I I didn't have enough experience or honesty to, to even rig this tool. Um, but uh, from what I've read and uh, even back then, it is really fast. Um, sometimes, it, it, you know, with any other tool, um, hit or miss, sometimes you're going to get stuff that you don't find on Nmap and vice versa. So, yeah, I'm looking, to, looking forward to adding this in there. Um, also, down the line, I want to build some scripts where I could add it or, you know, do some kind of stuff for, with this tool, with other things. Um, you know, it's going to be a side project, but who knows, maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't. Again, it's a side project, see what we could do. Um, but that being said, that's pretty much it for the video on how to install RustScan. Pretty quick, pretty simple. Um, again, I'm going to have all these commands in the description. I'll even put the update commands that I use in the description. Um, I know they were in another video. Um, however, I will put these in because sometimes you do find issues that won't update um, certain repositories. So these ones pretty much work um, down the line 99.9% uh, .9 of the time. So every one that I use, I'll include it. Um, and then again, I'll have the uh, install commands and also the ones to just pretty much being able to run it anywhere you want. So that being said, that's the video for today. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a good one.